woman has disrespected the gods and shown contempt for tradition. Please, I only wanted to see my son compete. You mean you got um. to gaze lustfully upon the bodies of the athletes? No, Say! I swear! Say! Excuse me. You have dishonored yourself and the games. Please, let me explain. No excuses. You know the price for your transgression. What crime has this woman committed? Exactly that. Her crime is that she is a woman. It's news to me that's now a crime. Shouldn't you lock yourself up first then? I am the priestess of Dimitra. I preside over the games. She's a married woman who tried to watch them, disguised as a man no less. Uh. And why is any of this a crime? For a married woman, there's too much temptation. Who are you? Kalipatira, I just wanted to see my son compete. My family has a proud lineage at the Olympic Games. My father, brother's nephew, and son have all won wreaths. Do I not have the right to see them? Enough of your lies. She doesn't deserve to be punished like this. This is nothing. Death is the punishment. She shall be thrown from the mountain. Help me! Prove I have a right to see my son compete! You have no right. You broke a sacred tradition, and for that, you will be punished. No. Your laws are wrong, and I'll prove it. As you're so outspoken in her defense, I will give you a chance. Present me evidence of Kalipatira's noble heritage, or she will die as she ruled, to appease the gods. I should find Kalipatira's son. He should be able to help prove his mother's innocence. Well, welcome back. <laughs> We're doing Assassin's Creed once again. <laughs> I didn't expect to start like that, but that's okay. Talk to you? Yeah, you know I'll be right back up. Whee. Do you know Kalipatira? Hmm. I don't know her well, but she dotes on her son and she's always making offerings. Offerings? For her husband, she's a pious woman. He's long since crossed the sticks, and she misses him terribly. But we all have our time. Thank you. You've been a great help. Okay. Do you know Kalipatira? I've seen that one, all right. Always hanging around the athlete's tents. Disgraceful, if you know what I mean. I'm not sure I do. All those young, oiled, rippling bodies gives you shivers, muscles everywhere. Oh, disgusting it is. And her a married woman and all. Um. There's no harm in looking at an attractive man, is there? Yes, yes there is. You young ones are always thinking with what's between your legs. And she definitely was. Saw her meet a man regularly on that bench over there. You saw her meet a man. Thank you. Okay. That doesn't help. Hmm. The poem, The Agoras of Rhodes, dedicated by Pindaros himself. 2K. Always be proud, little one. Your father is the greatest of Pankratian champions. I'm looking for Kalipatira's son. Do you know him? I should hope so. It's me! <laughs> Your mother has been accused of impiety. What? What's going on? What happened? Please, calm down. Calm down? Do you know what they'll do to her? She's fine for now. She snuck into the stadium to watch you. 
and I need to prove that she had the right to do it. If anyone did, it was matter. Her brothers were champions, as I am now. No one honors the Olympics like her. Thank you. Sit tight, and I'll prove your mother was in her right to attend the games. What's this? I have always longed for you. Kalipatira has an admirer. That priestess was in a hurry to carry out her sentence on Kalipatira. I should find them quickly. <sighs> hey. Now I came from that way. This is over here. Yep. Okay. Oh yeah, she was going to throw her off the mountain. That's right. That makes sense. Alright. Who am I? than I thought. She's guilty. I need more time. She's innocent. Yes. Kali Patira is the daughter of the Agoras. I found the poem of the Agoras of Rhodes, dedicated to the family by Pindaros. And this proves her story? I talked to her son and people who know her. She is a good woman who loves the games and respects the gods. Her family has turned out champions for three generations. Perhaps we have judged her too harshly. Her family has been a credit to the Olympic legacy. As you say, it would be a shame to tarnish such a proud family name. The gods forgive you. Go. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you. Nobody deserves such a fate. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Is that a baby or the omphalos you're eating? Um. into town because we had a bunch of objectives well that looked painful Hmm. <clears throat> 
All right. Come on. Get, what? Get up there. Alexios, please. If these fools break the truce, thief! You're on to talk, you double dealing dog! Nobody wants trouble here. You know what will happen to you both if you break the truce. Now, if someone can tell me what's going on... This dishonorable girl stole from me! Huh. You call me a thief? You're the thief! Enough! I'll ask the questions. Herodotus, what's all this about? This scum robbed me! Scum! I am from an honorable family! Only a lowly Eonian would steal! I said Herodotus. Uh, yes. I it seems both their treasuries were breached, and their valuables stolen. If there has been a theft, why do you suspect each other? Because this... It's a matter of blood. Makar is from an eminent Vorian line. Mighty warriors, but rather austere. While Lelech is from Ionian stock. A grand tradition of artists and philosophers. You mean philanderers! Both sides are important. Spoken like a true Ionian. It seems unlikely that they would rob each other at the same time. You have to find out who stole their drachmi. I can't believe they would do this to each other. Whatever their issues, they've always respected the Olympic truce. Okay. I'll find out what happened and protect the truce. If you prove it, Makar, I will reward you well. As will I, if you bring me evidence of Lelech's double dealing. And what if it's neither of you? Then they will both reward you. Very well. Agree. <laughs> Alright. Let's track that. Get some cash money. Uh, clues. Back this way. A lot of back and forth. Did you see anything? No, nope. Not nothing. Far less than anything. So, you saw something. Well, only if you count torches. But they crept up on me, they did. Must have been at least 30 of them. Torches crept up on you? If there were 30 of them, why isn't the ground stomped flat? Eh, uh, those skin sandals, very soft. Don't leave a trace. Anyway, hard to tell how many as I was uh, unconscious. Tell me the truth, or I'll beat it out of you. Are you the thief? No, please. Look, it wasn't me. I, I fell asleep. Didn't see anything apart from the torches. And you didn't investigate? I didn't want to leave my post. But you'd already been robbed. If I deserted my post, I'd be charged with the reliction of duty. Then I'll let you get back to work. <laughs> wow. These crypts have been opened. There is no sign of forced entry. Hmm, a note. Take all that you can carry, and meet me at the ruins where we first consummated our love. Soon we will be free. What? Romeo and Juliet? <clears throat> Alright. Thief is in Elise. Uh, Valley of Olympia, House of Oyenema. Uh. Alright. I found the thief. Really? 
So, thieves, I finally catch you. Please, we're not thieves. Yet here you are, with stolen goods. You don't understand. This is rightfully ours. It's our inheritance. Yeah, I figured. If it's already yours, why not wait? Why steal everything now? We wanted a new life. One where we could be free and our love doesn't have to hide in the shadows. <laughs> How yep. can this all be yours? It belongs to our families. By blood, it's rightfully ours. Who are you exactly? They are my daughter and his son! Father! This is how you repay me for raising you? By running off with some woman squirted from my enemy's loins? This robbery has brought you together. Lelech, Makar. You worked together to find out what happened to your drachmi. Actually, the guard told us. And his family stole my money. As yours did mine. But think how much you could achieve working together. You're a mistress. Carry out your duty and kill the thieves. I will pay you handsomely. Father, no! I agree. I will match Makar's price on this. Do what you were hired to do. Oh, damn. You would kill your own son and daughter? <laughs> we have other children. Now, are you a mistress or not? Um. I will not slaughter innocents. Your families would stand a better chance for the future without a boat of you. Uh, what was that? Oh, that's the Come on. What? Dude. Nothing? Really? Alright. I didn't want it to come to this, but now we can forge a new future for our two families. One built on love. I wish you luck with that. Oh, that was interesting, I guess. <sighs> Come on, Rainbow Sparkle. Let's ride. See what this throwing the bet subjective is. Seriously? Really? Get there. Come on, place your bets. Place your bets now. Aletis has plenty of drachmi for you to win. Your pitch could use some work. You would attract more customers if you sounded more enthusiastic. Everyone's betting against Peter Kos. Rumor is he's off his game. If it's true, I'm going to be ruined. Hmm. I could take out his opponent. For the right price. Tempting, but no. Well, not this time. All right. Let's hear your plan, then. Just go see what's wrong. See if there's a way to help him win. 
for Athens. For Drachmi. I'll see what's wrong with Pithecos. Thank you. <sighs> I'll split the winnings with you if you can sort things out. Pithecos, Aletis sent me to help you. Really? Can you perform wonders? On occasion. My lucky javelin. It broke. Can you fix it? Aren't you meant to use the official javelins? Yes, but it was my lucky one. I can't win without it. <laughs> when you say lucky, you mean special. As in made to give you an advantage. Look, my javelin was hollow as a reed and nearly as light. But it looked just like an Olympic one. If you really want to help, bring me another like it. And I'll win the games for Athens. And I'll let us. Where would I find such a javelin? Well, you could buy one, I suppose. Do any of your fellow Olympians have special javelins? Perhaps. Don't worry. I'll get you a javelin. Thanks. Maybe I've still got a chance to win. I don't like that idea, but sure. This looks like it'll work. Got you a javelin. Good. Let's take a look. This is terrible. So heavy. Zeus himself couldn't throw it. If this javelin isn't good enough, I'll find another. Thank you. <sighs> Damn cheater. I hope he gets wrecked. sell javelins of course lucky you I still have some left with the games on they sell out fast but are they any good the best fly fast and true rest assured but they'll cost you two thousand huh? I'll take one thank you and may it fly far Got you a javelin. Good. Let's take a look. Here, take this. Hey, this javelin's amazing. Light, easy to handle, and most importantly, looks just like the real thing. I'm glad I could help. Go with Nikkei, my friend. <laughs> I should find the lettuce. Place your bets. Place your bets now. Who will win the javelin? It could be you. Good, you're back. Get it done? Of course. Excellent. How about a little bet on our boy then? No, I've done my job. And now I want my drachmi. Suit yourself. More drachmi for Aletis. Are you serious? I spent 2,000. And I got 900 back? That was not worth it. <clears throat> I am not happy. <sighs> I guess I should have bet. 
But then I feel like I would have lost more. Ah, you are a welcome sight. Your beauty brings light into the darkness of what has become my life. It's good to see you too, Phidias. Now, this is important. No one saw you come here, did they? No. Why? You're sure you weren't followed? Good, good. They're out there, though. Watching. Waiting. Commiserating? Who's after you? The cult of Cosmos. Remember Athens? They never stopped hunting me, Alexios. Why would they be after you now? They want me dead. Moving me here has only bought a little more time. I need your help. Ah. What makes you think you're in trouble now? The other day, I received a skitali and a note. Someone left you a piece of wood and a letter. I can see why you're frightened. Oh, it's so much more than that. What's so special about a stick? It's not just any stick. The skitali is used by the Spartans to send coded messages. Okay, so let's talk about your stick. <laughs> skitali! All right, Skitali. I need to get the code. Then I'll show you how it works. What did the message say? Look to your art. The King of Gods has a message to impart. Fantastic. That's not a message. It's barely possible as a riddle. It's obvious. The King of Gods. Zeus. Yes. And what am I? There are so many answers to that. But... Uh, I suppose you're a sculptor. Exactly! So where do I need to go? The Temple of Zeus, of course! It's here in Olympia. The clue for the Skitali should be around the statue. Okay. If it'll put your mind at rest, I'll help. Thank you. Now hurry and look to the statue of Zeus in his temple to find the message. Once I have the clue, I can decipher it with the Skitali. Don't worry. I'll be back as soon as I can. Phidias is paranoid, but maybe it's not all in his mind. This must be what Phidias was looking for. All right. on the other end. I should get back to Fidia so he can decipher the message. So, what was the message? Did it give you the information you were looking for? In a manner of speaking, the message you gave me, I wrapped it around the rod. You wrapped it around your rod? Yes, the Skitali. It's ingenious. The right message for the right rod. Wrap the cloth around it, and the letters should align, giving you the message. Yes, very interesting. But what did it say? It's directions. Well, don't keep me waiting. What did it say? It's a list of statues, and uh, there's something else, but it's not complete. Do you think the complete message will be revealed once all these statues have been visited? I would assume so. Someone's gone to a lot of trouble to ensure this remains a secret. Maybe it will reveal the identity of the ones who want to dispose of me. Will you help? 
Tell me what I need to do. There are three locations listed. Each region has a statue of some renown placed there. So it's safe to say that at each of these statues, there will be a clue. Yes, it'll be quite a journey. The statues are scattered all over. There's one near Kithira, another at Thassos, and also Samos. What statue should I be looking for in Kithira? Oh, what an island. The birthplace of the goddess of love. How I wish I could go with you. It is a fitting place, then, to look for Aphrodite. Exactly. The island lies at the southeastern tip of the Peloponnese. You will find what we seek at Aphrodite's feet. What's in Thassos? Ah, a controversial statue indeed. It can only be the one of Theagenes from this northern isle. Theagenes? The Olympic hero. It's even rumored that Heracles himself was his father. He was exquisitely immortalized by the sculptor Glaucis of Aegina. What statue should I seek in Samos? Well, it's not exactly Samos or Lesbos, but a small island nestled between. In the bosom of the ocean, one might say. Stick to the statue. What is it? Why, Poseidon, of course. It is as if you are watching the god himself holding back the waves. I should be on my way. This will take some time. Of course. But I am excited to see where this will lead. As am I. Stay safe, Phidias. You too. And return to me as soon as you have all the clues. Don't worry. I will. Okay. Well, instead of doing that, we're going to end the video here. And uh, I will see you all next time. Later. Ah!